Hello everyone, Gabor here, and today I will review my second meal code weather, which is, as you can see, is the beef stew. But before everything, I set my clock to 35 minutes and I started the, the review after that. So as you can see, it is a it is a white packaged uh, meal code weather number seven, and as I was, and as I already told you, it will be the beef stew. This package was uh, uh, manufactured by the Warnick Company, and as I have a case full of uh, MCWs from that company all my reviews will be done by the packages made by this uh, company um, so let us begin with the review itself and as always I struggle with the peelable seal and uh, in the hung Hungarian version I uh, speeded up my fight with the packaging it took me a good uh, half minute to open the the outer layer of plastic but I managed to do it and as you can see nothing uh, nothing uh, was in the outer packaging foil packaging plastic so the first element is the main entree itself and as already told it is a beef stew uh, I explain here that it requires 16 ounces of hot water to pour in the second item in the MCW is the toasted corn kernels mm, nothing interesting about that item it's just toasted corn kernels. The third one is a lemon poppy pound cake. Yes, lemon poppy seed pound cake as you can hear see it there. The next one is an oatmeal cookie with a chocolate flavor coating. Yes, here are the ingredients and the nutrition facts too. As you can see, it's uh, one and a half ounces of, of uh, cookie. It was a very hard one. The accessory pack, I put it aside. The standard emery spoon. And one of my favorite drinks of all time, beverage based powder grape. Actually, it's not my favorite, but I hope you heard the irony. And here is the accessory pack. The date code is 2136, which is the 136th day of 2012, which is... Uh, May the 15th 15th of May 2012 the accessory pack contained a coffee creamer whitener if you like it this way a little pouch of Tabasco sauce 
some sugar uh, tasters choice coffee uh, produced by Nescafe some standard emery matches TP a moist toilet and last but not least the chewing gum menthol flavored so the first thing I was uh, I was um, preparing is the main entree and I'm explaining here that this uh, that it is uh, both freeze-dried and vacuum sealed and this makes a very very sturdy little meal I'm explaining here that the pouch has a little trigger notch where the pouch itself can be opened but I'm not a fan of this this tear notch so I'm opening it up with my trusters you can tear it down too much and and uh, and the the pouch will be ripped off and cannot serve its its purpose to to uphold the water but this cannot be this cannot be the situation with the with the scissors I'm controlling what I'm cutting so here is the main entree I see in there carrots potatoes um, the beef itself and green peas And as already said, the pouch requires 16 ounces of hot water. The instructions on the pouch are saying that you should put in your water in batches, 2-3 batches. But I, I learned it the hard way that, that this is not, uh, not so not so good to to introduce the water into the pouch this way because when uh, when you pour in only the half of the water it can be that not all not all uh, bits are uh, covered with water so some dry spots will be in the pouch itself so I'm pouring in all the water at at uh, the same time and this gives me the desired consistency of the food the um, standard emery spoon is not uh, not long enough to reach into the corners of the of the pouch so I'm using my wooden spoon my longer wooden spoon for this purpose and mixing up the freeze-dried elements with the hot water I found this, uh, this uh, solution very convenient and and uh, very efficient so cleaning up my my wooden spoon and showing off the end result of my mixing when i first uh, smelled it it had an it had no 
no aroma, no odor, but after introducing the water it was a very pleasant smell, uh, a very pleasant taste. Nothing outstanding, just a very, very good, uh, very good smell to it. And as always, I'm using the clothespin to seal the pouch, and though this does not allow to the steam to escape. The next thing I'm preparing is the coffee. So I never had this this uh, Nescafe type taster's choice coffee before smelling it it had a very mild flavor a very mild odor to it it was actually very very pleasant I'm adding here the sugar and last but not least I'm adding the coffee whitener, coffee creamer to the mug I hope the the cars the, which are passing by behind me can will not be heard in the in the final um, cut but nevertheless I'm adding here the hot water and this time I decided that I will not uh, use the standard 200 milliliter water instead I eyeballed one 100 milliliter of hot water this this uh, this time I I uh, wanted to have a shorter coffee so to say later I will taste the coffee and it will show me if it was a good choice to reduce the amount of water or not. The next thing I prepared was my beloved grape beverage based powder. I decided that I mixed the water within the pouch. Here I'm explaining that I will need 12 ounces of water, which I'm measuring out with my larger measure cup. And I'm also explaining that without the measure cup, there is the uh, this black line on the pouch itself. Maybe I show it. Maybe not. What a thrill. Oh, yes, here I am showing the uh, black line which, which uh, shows the 12 ounces of the on the pouch itself. So if you don't have a measuring cup and it's a very, very, um, it's a very high chance that you don't have a measure cup in the battlefield you need to fill up this uh, pouch with water show it, uh, show it with the black line I'm closing the pouch and begin to mix the beverage some familiar moves if I can say it so yep 
and I noticed that the pouch itself was leaking. Some small drops. Yep, there you can see the small drop, the evidence of the leakage. I mixed the beverage in the pouch because I do not want it to um, clean the measuring cup. But my plan failed miserably, miserably because of this leaking and I had to open the pouch because the water and the beverage base didn't in intercorporate it very well and mm, yummy I had to put the powder into the measuring cup and mixing it up with the emery spoon it had a very pleasant uh, grape odor artificial naturally but it was very good and had this very uh, beautiful purple color and this was all the preparing I had to do before bringing up my almighty wooden tray. First I opened up the oatmeal cookie. The odor was very pleasant. It had a very great taste of chocolate. The cookie was covered on all sides with this with this uh, chocolate uh, chocolate yeah so it has a very very pleasant odor the second item I was showing is the lemon lemon poppy seed pound cake No hiss with this uh, pouch, but an oxygen oxygen absorber. And here is the pound cake itself. It was uh, it had a very very light a very light lemony scent. It was very pleasant and. The last item to show off is the toasted corn kernels. Are the toasted corn kernels? Actually, they smelled very mm, natural. No, no. Mm, flavoring so I could no, I could feel no flavoring and it had its own oxygen absorber and I was uh, stopping here for a minute to get the oxygen absorber of the pound cake because I noticed that they are uh, different. Yep, here I'm showing the difference between the two oxygen absorbers. The first one is from the lemon cake, pound cake, and the second one from the roasted kernels.
corn kernels. Very interesting fact. Actually not, but I noticed it so I so I I uh, I showed it. And the tw 10 minutes passed by. So the beef stew, beef stew should be ready. Opening up the pouch and the smell the smell was very pleasant. I decided not to stir up the content of the pouch which was a bad decision and you will see it in um, in a second but before yep here it comes so why was it a bad decision because one part of the meal was was almost solid and the other part was very runny so I had to mix it up on the tray itself which was uh, not so easy because this this uh, this beef stew was uh, uh, a lot of lot of uh, me lot of lot of food <coughs> And it tried to escape uh, a dozen times, but I didn't allow it. And here I'm making a little uh, math exercise in my head. Four hundred, um, hundred fourteen grams of food, almost eight ounces of uh, dry ingredients. And I had to pour in 16 ounces of water, which is almost four and a half liters. Not four and a half, almost uh, 450 milliliters. Yes, um, 450 milliliters of water, which is makes this meal more than uh, half kilograms of food so this is a very very large large uh, main entree which contains potatoes peas carrots and some beef beef pieces here I'm showing off the main entree and it actually tasted a little bland so it was not unpleasant but it could uh, it could uh, it needed some some additional flavoring <coughs> so some some salt would be good here and I had the same problem with the first MCW I tried the main entree was uh, was bland so some flavoring should be uh, packaged into the accessory pack a little salt <coughs> a little pepper because because I'm I'm not the fan of the of the Tabasco sauce and it has it was the only flavoring uh, item I had with this uh, meal so I had to use it
Here are the ingredients I try to figure out and the nutrition facts. I try to figure out what source source of flavoring this uh, this meal had. I found some garlic, some onions, but uh, nothing nothing uh, no other uh, spices or or herb herbs. So I had to use the Tabasco sauce because this much food cannot be eaten so bland. First I uh, tried a little amount of of the Tabasco sauce. It was actually good. It was actually good with the beef stew. It was not so hot. Uh, and it tasted much much better with this with this uh, Tabasco sauce. I used the half of the this little pouch. It was more than enough for me. Mixing up the <coughs> beef stew with the Tabasco sauce, and the end result was more tastier than the than the beef stew on its own I'm explaining here that I I was very uh, very delighted with the texture of the potato and the carrots but the meat was a little tough I don't know why, but it was a little mm, tougher than than uh, I like it. Almost if it wasn't cooked enough, but that cannot be because it was freeze dried. So I could not explain why the beef cubes. were uh, tough to eat but that's enough from the beef too I went myself for the pound cake a bus is passing by <coughs> which has nothing to do with the pound cake, just uh, explaining the noises behind me. And this pound cake was actually very, mm, very bland. Yep, I could not explain why, but the poppy seeds uh, gave nothing to the experience. No, no flavor. It has a very pleasant lemon scent to it, but uh, I could not feel the lemon on my tongue. So it was actually a very bland uh, little cake, a very crumbly, bland little cake. I would not say that it is unpleasant, just it has nothing to do with neither the poppy seeds and neither the lemon flavor. It's a it's a sweet little cookie.
Mm -hmm. Finally I'm doing something. So I had to wash out my mouth and the only thing I had was this beloved grape beverage. Oh, a very natural color it has. And as I already said, the scent of the of the beverage is very good. I almost uh it it almost tricked me that it's a, a natural grape uh, beverage, but the but the taste shows that it's it's an artificial one. It cannot fool me completely. It's a good beverage, but but uh, too much artificial flavor. It has too much artificial flavor. And I had to split the oatmeal cookie with my knife because <coughs> the the chocolate coating almost melted on the cookie itself and I could not touch it without making a large mess mess so I had to taste it on the knife and this cookie was was uh, actually very good all I could taste was the was the chocolate coating and it is a very very pleasant it has a very pleasant taste I could not feel anything from the oatmeal cookie itself just just the just the coating the outer layer of chocolate but nevertheless it was a very very good little cookie <coughs> Here I'm showing off the roasted toasted corn kernels. They were very crunchy, salty and had a very natural flavor. So no no added flavoring. Just the just the taste of the salt and the kernels the corn and i joked around here that the soldiers should not eat this on a on a recon mission because it would be very too loud and last but not least i'm trying out the coffee And it was actually very good with the less amount of water. The the scent was very pleasant. The aroma was good, and the taste was uh, was very very mild. Uh, uh, it it is a very mild coffee. Not so bitter. And I'm not the coffee drinker guy, but I could use to this this kind of uh, of uh, coffee. So I tasted all the all the components of this uh, meal cold weather, which is number seven, the B two. <coughs> The main entree is a little bland. It requires some additional flavoring to it. And the Tabasco is very handy. The poppy seed lemon pound cake has nothing to do with the poppy seeds or the lemons. Only, only the odor. The oatmeal cookie is actually the best component of this, this whole meal and the toasted corn kernels are toasted corn kernels nothing interesting to say about them 
the beverage. Hmm. Good as always, bad as always. The my timer uh, ringed at this time. So back again. The grey beverage is good as always and is bad as always. And I decided that I should use the coffee always with this small amount of water. So it was a very great experience to try out this MCW. I had much fun to do this uh, little review. I thanking you to that you <coughs> watched my video, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel if you would like. Thanks again for uh, watching the video and bye.